A short while ago, we released a video explaining how to repair a puncture out training simply by replacing the inner tube. Well, in the comments below that video, we learned that you'd like to learn how to repair that puncture by repairing the actual punctured inner tube. Well, your wish is our command. Here it is. First things first, find yourself a safe place away from the road to fix your puncture. I've chosen under a tree because we're in the midst of a heat wave here in the UK at the moment. That basically means we've had five days in succession and they've peaked at over 15 degrees Celsius. You're going to need the same tools, a tire lever, a pump, but in this case, you're of course going to need some patches. Now you can get the modern self-adhesive ones like this or the old traditional patches with glue. So we've got both here today. Start the same way as you always would do by taking the punctured wheel out of the frame or forks. Right now we need to get one side of the tire off. And as somebody pointed out to us beneath the video, it's handy just to take one side of the tire off and I'll explain why in just a few moments. You might need two tire levers to do this. Go all the way around the side, one side of the tire and then start on the opposite side from the valve. Pull the tube away from the tire all the way up to the valve but leave it in. Get your pump, undo the valve, put it on and this is where we're going to try and locate exactly where the hole is in our inner tube. I can hear it straight away in this instance. It's keeping quite a bit of air in, but it's very obvious. I could hear it on the floor there. Well, that was quite an easy one. Yours might be a lot more difficult than that. The reason why we left the inner tube in is because locating the hole on the inner tube is going to help us locate roughly where the offending item protruded inside the tire. Feel inside the tire gently because it's likely to be something pretty sharp and there it is straight away. Just a very small thorn, just come right through the tire and pierce the inner tube. Try and gently push it through either with your fingers or using the back of your tire lever. Push it back through, out the other side until you can flick it out. Easier said than done. Now that is likely to be the only cause of the puncture we've got today, but I'm still going to run my fingers gently around the tire. Seems to be okay, so we can start fixing the actual hole on the inner tube. Now depending on the size of the hole, you might at this point need to pump the tire back up again to locate it. Hear that? Inside a normal puncture repair kit, we'll have some glue, we'll have some sandpaper, and you'll have some patches. The sandpaper is to roughen up the inner tube. They should also have the sandpaper on self-adhesive patches. Just gives you a much greater chance of getting the patches to stick and not peel away at the sides especially. So give it a good rub in all directions, all the way around that part of the inner tube. Then put the glue on. Wait one minute for the glue to dry. That's really important that you wait that one minute at least. Spread it about using your fingers, it doesn't really matter how far around you go, you just want to make sure that it's definitely at least the size of your patch. Okay, now we can wait a minute. You can do absolutely anything you want in that minute. I just watched this week's GCN News show, or the start of it. Don't know why, because I wrote it and presented it, I knew exactly what was in it. It's really good though. Anyway, get your patch. After that minute's over, and most of them are fairly similar. It'll have foil on one side, and sort of cellophane around the patch itself on the other side. Now again, try and make sure you don't get your oily skin on the underside of the patch. So locate the hole again, it's just there. Hold it really firmly, push outwards each way, and then I tend to just hold it there, sometimes keeping my fingers crossed. It's just a good idea to give the glue some time to set, because in a minute we're going to have to try and pull this cellophane away from the patch itself. Okay, that should do it. Right, when it comes to peeling this cellophane away, I tend to double it back on itself until eventually there's a point where you can get your other finger on it to make sure that it doesn't come away. There we go. Now you've got two options now. You can either trust your own expertise, put it all back inside the tire and blow it up. That's what I'm gonna do. If you're a little bit doubtful, then you can pump it up before you put it inside the tire make sure that there's no air leaking out. So push the inner tube in all the way around the tire. Might want to give it just a little bit of air again just to give the inner tube some roundness so there's less chance of it being pinched by the tire bead as you put it on. Right, and that's seated pretty well. But it's worth getting as much pressure in as you possibly can because it will limit your chances of getting a pinch puncture if you hit a stone or curb or something on the way back home. 
that's pretty much all done. Do your quick release back up, make sure that's secure. If you've had to undo this quick release here to get your tire out through the brakes, do that back up, check your brakes, check nothing's rubbing, and then clear your rubbish up. For the best cycling mechanical videos on the entire GCN channel, click here, or to subscribe, click on me.